Hi everyone, this is Heather Smith from Storyville Photography, and today I'm going to be editing this image for you of my son sitting on this really, really cool rock. So this is where we will end, and this is where we will start. So before and after. Okay, so what I'm going to do, like I do to all my images, is to run this image base. Adds contrast, brightens up, and darkens the edges. First I'm going to click on the darkened edges layer. And I'm going to make sure that my light, the focal point, is over my subject. Okay, and that looks good to me. I'm going to crank it all the way up. I want the edges to be super dark here. Next, we're going to work on our tones. So I am going to go to the Storyville Jeweled Green and play that for you guys. So I'm going to take my soft white brush at 100% opacity and brush it on. Now it's going to come on really strong because I have it cranked all the way to the top, but we will dial it back. And if you're going to be editing an image for a client, I would take the time to zoom in really close and make sure the green doesn't run off on him and mask that off. Now, I really like the color of the center here, so I don't want to cover that up, but I also don't think that it blends too well here. So I'm going to take a black brush at a lower opacity and start to brush some of that off. Okay. Now, I think the tone is just a little bit too strong for my liking, so I'm going to go into the jewel base and cut that down quite a bit. That looks good to me. So before and after. Next I'm going to add a sun flare to the top. I use this on so many of my images, it just makes the image overall look more dreamy, I feel. So I'm going to select it all, copy and paste. Select screen mode and move it to the top. Hit the Gaussian blur at about 2.8 and hit OK. Now, as much as I like that, it kind of covers up the pretty colors there. So what I'm going to do is run the charcoal gray I'm going to use a soft white brush at 100% opacity and brush it on the areas where I want to bring back some of that color. Gorgeous colors there. Maybe a little bit on the rock. Wherever you really want to add a little bit more dimension. Now obviously that is a little bit too strong, so I'm going to dial that back. Say about there looks good to me. So before, after, before, and after. Next we're going to come up here and we're going to brighten his skin up a little bit. So I want to go to the brighten skin, play that. And we'll click on the brighten skin. I'm going to zoom in. Soft white brush on 100% opacity and paint it on. Obviously that's way too strong, so we're going to dial that back to where it just gives them a little bit of a glow. That looks good to me. His eyes are kind of dark, so we're going to lighten those up. Same soft white brush, get in there even closer, and paint it on. We'll cut that back a little bit too. And then moving on to the catch lights. And that looks good to me. Um, it looks like he took on a little bit of a magenta tone. But let me show you this first. Subtle, but it makes all the difference. So we are going to go into the skin color correction and play that. and add some yellow to his skin. Soft white brush, 100% opacity. And 
can dial that way down. Okay. Next, we're going to add a little bit of red into his cheeks and lips. So we're going to go to rosy cheeks and lips and play that. Click on here. I think my most used is the radiant red. I like how it looks on all skin tones. So we're going to just clown them up here for a minute. Hit his lips. It does not have to be perfect. You are going to be dialing this down a whole bunch. Okay, and that looks good to me. So we're going to zoom out. And I think we're done here, guys. Uh, let me group it together for you. Oops. So this is where we ended, and here is where we started. Finished product and before. Thanks for watching, guys. You can find all these presets and the sun flare I used on this video at storyvillephotography.com. Have a good one. Bye.